Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Dr. Duino here. And today I wanted to show you how I use the Dr. Duino Shield itself. I, I get a lot of questions on uh, how or what would I do with the Dr. Duino Shield. So I just want to show you a project which I am working on. Uh, it's kind of a pet project for some kids that I teach. And what we are doing here is we're taking these NeoPixels, which you can buy um, in these kind of quad packs, and you can split them open or split them apart, and you can daisy chain them, which is really pretty neat. Now, what I end up doing with, with, the, with the NeoPixels here is I've actually uh, put it inside of a ping pong ball. And the reason for that is we want to, we're creating this kind of um, mechanism by where we raise and lower this ping pong ball and we change its color. Uh, with this motor. Now, I, I can't move the motor right now just because the wires that are here are a little bit finicky <laughs> right now. So, um, but I want to show you why I did it like this. Now, I wanted to be able to control the individual color of, of, the, of the ping pong ball. And in order to do that, I needed red, green, and blue uh, controls. So I map that in firmware to these pots that are down here. So red, green, and blue. And I'm pumping that data out of pin six. Now, what's also kind of a neat thing is um, if I move this, hopefully I don't knock any wires loose. If you look really close, you see that kind of like blinking really fast. What, what that is telling me is that actually that the data is getting out uh, from the microcontroller itself and out through this pin. So I know that the data is actually good. Now, I'm going to put it back onto... Uh, the NeoPixel, and what we're going to do is we're going to control the actual color of the ping pong ball. Now, I know it's a little hard for you to see because the camera doesn't pick it up, but right now I just got rid of all of the red. So we, what you have now is just green, and that is a really a bright green. Um, and we're going to add, we're going to take it. So now it's totally off, and now we're going to add a little bit of blue. Right, so that's you know adding blue, and that is pretty blue right now. We'll turn off the blue again. We'll turn on just the green, and that is green. And we're going to turn on just the red. Whoever is out there, let, let me know that you're there. I see some thumbs up, which is pretty cool. Thank you. So now if we do red and, of course, uh, we'll go blue, you get a nice purple. Uh, you can't see it. It just looks white over there, right? Uh, but it is purple. And so that's how I use a Dr. Duino. I also like to have a, co a continuous blinking LED just so that that way I know that the program is actually alive um, and, it's, and it's doing something. Because something, sometimes what will happen is um, you, you'll think that the code is actually running, but in fact, nothing is happening at, at all. So whenever I write any of my code, I always put, I call this a heartbeat LED. Um, and if you downloaded my Arduino Master PDF, uh, that is actually something that I speak about in in the in the PDF itself. Is just always having a heart a heartbeat running. So uh, for those not familiar, uh, you know you've also got a bunch of switches that are over here. Let's say if, for example, I wanted to tie these buttons to being red, green, and blue, I could certainly just you know instead of having to wire everything up inside of a breadboard, I could just click these buttons and be on my way. Now. You know, a lot of people say, well, it doesn't replace the, the breadboard. And, and no, it absolutely does not replace the breadboard. It's kind of um, like a quick testing apparatus. But if you're also one of those people who's just getting started in Arduino, um, it also provides all of the regular, same components that you get in any other kit, uh, just pre-wired. You have to solder it, obviously, but it's, it's pre-wired. So again, I'll just show you, um, this is now all the colors are on. So we've got red, green, and blue. And it is, in fact, white. Kind of neat. And we'll take off the... There we go. So now we are purely green. So just a quick way to test. Um, just wanted to show you guys. It's pretty cool. Anyway... Uh, let me know how you guys out there are using your Dr. Duino, if you have one or not, uh, or just whatever projects that you're working on. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, talk soon. Bye-bye.